Hello and welcome back to, uh, we'll keep calling it Chaos Corner for now, I think, huh? <laughs> Today is gonna be a quickie, but a goodie. I'm gonna do a quick lost wax casting, but I'm gonna do it with PLA. If you watched the first video where I did a PLA burnout, that was the first time I had ever done a PLA burnout. And I did it with just plain, cheap, the most basic PLA that Amazon dollars can buy. So today we're gonna be going head to head. We are gonna be printing two of the exact same item. I didn't come up with this item. Someone else did, I will somewhere in here I'll show the model we're going to use. I'm going to make two of the same ring. We're going to do one in PLA. I got this PLA off of Amazon. It is a cheap value pack. It came with one black and one white and we're going to print one of the ring in white. So that's going to be print number one. Print number two, I spent the money and I bought the Polycast Easy Casting Material by Polymaker. This is specifically made for lost DLA burnout. It's supposed to come out a little smoother and then have have less finishing work than just printing with regular PLA. So I'm gonna do one in this, one in that. We're gonna sprue them both up, throw them in the kiln, do a full burnout, and at the end, you and I will come together and judge and see which one came out better. So uh, let's go inside and get printing. This is the PLA print, print number one, 0.2 millimeter nozzle, printed upright with supports. Hopefully you can see here, I'll try to give you good detail. This is the PLA, this is the polycast. I thought this was a good print because it's overall pretty smooth, but there is some detail in here we can see. So where we pulled the supports away here, it is a little rough right there. So I'm gonna clean that up a little bit. This is our before. Let's get these sprued up and uh, get these on the flask. Looks like we got something. I think we got those kitties in there. Oh, thank God. This is gonna be tough, guys. I don't know that I can right now tell which is which. Didn't see that one coming. Maybe once we get these cleaned up, we'll say, oh my gosh, duh, it's that one. I don't know, guys, these both came out really good. Did I just waste $50 on special filament? Hmm, 
I'm gonna put this in the pickle, but I wanted to show you guys first, just in case maybe we could see layer lines a little bit better uh, while it was darker. I had to go back and look, but this one is the polycast and this one is the regular PLA. I don't see that big of a difference. I, I didn't do too, too much cleanup on these because I really wanted to just be able to tell what it looked like and not just have it look better because I did better prep work. This is really tricky. I mean, we had, we had a really good cast. This is a great cast because look at all the detail we got. This is really tough. I really don't think I see too much of a difference at all. Let me know down below if you see a difference. Really, you can tell on the tops of their heads if that's gonna focus really well. You are really able to see layer lines there. And to me, it looks the same. All right, let's put them in the pickle real quick and I'll uh, come back and show you what they look like. Okay, so this is them after sitting in the pickle for a little bit. I don't know guys I mean I think this one maybe feels a little bit smoother but I think a really good indicator if it'll focus is maybe the tops of their heads I think they look pretty similar to me what do you guys think can you tell a big difference between the polycast and the regular PLA I am, not, I am not seeing it. I'm not seeing that big of a difference. I know people usually recommend this polycast in order to get rid of layer lines, to reduce ash, and just to have an overall better cast from a 3D print. But I feel like my other 3D print cast came out pretty good where I just did regular PLA. But I was really curious if this would be just a huge improvement. It felt like it would be based on other people's reviews. I'm happy with how this came out. I don't know that this is a big enough difference to warrant the price difference between the really inexpensive PLA and the much more expensive polycast. Maybe I just printed something that wasn't detailed enough for it. I don't know, maybe I'll do a short or something in the future where I clean these up completely and, and show those to you guys. So let me know down below if you have any experience casting with polycast and you had different results. I am super interested in hearing what those were. Do you guys see a big difference between these two pieces? Hmm. Well, that's going to be it for me today. I'm off to, uh, you know, pet their little heads and laugh maniacally. So uh, I will see you guys in the next one. Go forth, be kind, be creative.